First tonight, a bill is now on Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker's desk to decide whether or not the Bay State will ban all flavored tobacco products. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Caroline Goggin. Tonight, lawmakers and supporters of the bill say they hope it would prevent young people from smoking. Those who oppose it say they think it'll hurt local business. Eyewitness News reporter Shino Lusciuto heard from people on both sides and joins us now with more. Well, the lawmakers behind this bill say the goal is to stop people from smoking in the first place, arguing that these flavors target the younger generations. If the governor signs off on the bill banning flavored tobacco sales, Let's Roll Express manager Asad Afzal says there could be a lot of empty space on his counter. It's about almost 60% of our revenue. He tells us the sales ban would hurt business tremendously, noting that customers would likely just stock up in nearby states. If it was federally, then we can understand it, that it was all over U.S., then that's fine. We all are in the same boat. If we're going to only do it, then it's not fair to us. On Wednesday night, the Massachusetts Senate voted to pass the bill proposing to ban the sales of all flavored tobacco products in the Bay State, including menthol. If signed, the sales of flavored e-cigarette products would be banned immediately, while other products like all of these flavored tobacco packs sold here would be banned starting June of 2020. The bill also proposes a new 75% excise tax on nicotine vaping products, like for example, things that are just tobacco flavored. Cigarette-wise, I don't think it's a great idea for you to be smoking it at all. I don't think that the government should be sticking their nose so much in everybody's business. The president of Campaign for Tobacco Free Kids strongly supports the legislation, writing in part, this legislation is a critical step to help end the worsening youth e-cigarette epidemic and stop tobacco companies from using appealing flavors to lure kids into a lifetime of addiction. It would make Massachusetts the first state in the nation to prohibit the sales of all flavored tobacco products. Now, as you might remember, Governor Baker ordered a four-month vaping product ban in September. That's set to expire in January. In Fall River, I'm Sheena Loshudo, Eyewitness News.